Let's get over to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, as we do each and every Tuesday at 20 past the hour. And don't forget, folks, Basil does an outstanding show here every trading day, 10 to 11 Eastern Standard Time. Also has a great newsletter, the opening call. Now, it's very easy to get Basil's newsletter. Come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to go into newsletters. You're going to see it right on the left-hand side, second one down. You can get the opening call for one month for $149. You get it for six months, so $6.95, which is a savings of $199 at 22%. And you get it for one year for $11.95, which is a savings of $593 at 33%. Now, folks, they all come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Basil has about 12 archives out here. So this is really a great time to see it because we have a long holiday weekend, okay? Yeah, it's a half a day on Friday, but the bottom line is that you can go through the newsletter, go through the archives, really understand how Basil looks at the market every day and rides that wave. As a chapman, what's going on? Well, what's going on? We're wrapping up the old uh, spring to winter time, and the uh, leaf blows outside, cleaning up the final leaves that have fallen, and we're about to go to five months of winter. Uh, yeah. You're going to have to come visit us down here, man. I think so, yeah. Because what does happen, what Basil's talking about, folks, okay, it's not just the winter up there. What happens is that now, and I know exactly where Basil lives, and it's gorgeous, the, you know, landscaping every day and now all of a sudden the trees are naked man there's nothing there it's gonna be great there yeah yeah and that well, adds to that adds to the coldness because you does. get the visuals as well it does yeah. yeah it does so we're looking at the dow which is doing the exact opposite yeah, <laughs> it's running that's sharp. Right. so this is a fascinating thing because um i'd spoken to you last week and i said that i use a particular technique i've been showing it during my show uh intraday with my 10 o'clock to 11 o'clock my target technicians hour Doing it, trying to do it live to show how you get bars symmetry, how the number of bars to the left side can match the number of bars to the right side. Yes. And if you go to the uh, high of the 16th of August at 34,281, uh, that decline uh, came down to 28,715 in the Dow. That's the daily chart, uh, late September. Then it bounced to uh, 30,454 and then took out that left side low. That's a pattern I call the lowercase h, but it might have gone down just a fraction below the previous low. It went to 28,660 on the 13th of October. But you can see I use certain technical tools that I put on my chart, whether I need, I need them or not, they just there because it's like being prepared. It's like being in your car. You don't necessarily need your brake until you, you, you need to use it. You don't need your accelerator until you need to start the car. So these are all technical tools. So the MACD was running very strongly as it came down to that low on the 13th. So we just, we got stopped down on that 8.30 news report where the market tanked and then it suddenly turned around. But fortunately, we got right back on the, the long side of the diamonds and then we added the three times long. So we've got a position in the three times long. It's the UDOW. We've taken a little bit off uh, just part of money management. But look at this. If I use that arch formation at the high that was made at 30,454 on the 5th of October, we had a high to the left side about 26th of, of August. The number of bars to the downside matched from that little arch high, the number of bars to the right side, and that's exactly where we broke out. That was on the 11th of November. So I said to subscribers, it's going to go higher, but I think we're in for a rotational digestive phase over the next few weeks, maybe even going into Thanksgiving, maybe even just a tad later than Thanksgiving, because everything I'm looking at suggests that the speed of the move up had kind of run its course, and that even though we've got lagging in the, lagging stocks, like the Dow is leading the Dow 30, that's because it's got a perfect mix of all the different ingredients, the economic ingredients, and then you've got the S&P, and then you've got the Qs, and then you've got the IWM, so look at this from the high of the 16th of August at 34,281 to that same midpoint that we were looking at um, back in uh, October. Look what happened. Today is the day that it should test 34,281. And so far, the high is 34,091. That's crazy. So, isn't wow. that funny? It is, I, so man. I call that bar symmetry, and I've been showing right. that over and over again with charts how so many stocks have come down to within one dollar or even penny sometimes of their lows. And going to the upside, even it could be 
days, it could be weeks, it could even be years, and some of the indexes or stocks went right, or, or sectors, sector ETFs went right to within pennies on the left side high. So that's something I've worked on a long time. Uh, it's, uh, I call it bar symmetry, and I'll do some of that live again tomorrow in the show. But what we're looking at here is the nine period moving average is still very strong above the 14, and so the Dow is still acting very well. The MACD is just starting to um, decline to the point. It, it isn't yet negative, but it's getting close to turning negative. And the stochastic is still very strong at 87%. The one thing I've been looking at is the on-balance volume hasn't really been moving in sync. So that to me says it's a little bit of a And that's been going on a while now, Basil, right? And that's, that's definitely yeah. been going on uh, for a while. Now, I read it as on-balance volume. I know that you look at the pure volume numbers and you... You 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 work beautifully with those numbers. Oh, no, no, I know so, Joe Granville's deal. But no, I, I know that I know what you're doing. Joe right. Granville, yeah. right. So, so the other thing I was talking to you about was that the Dow has broken in the weekly chart. This, if it can hold all the way through Friday, and Friday is a shortened day, and we have no Thursday. So let's see what happens because these three candles are above the I call this Chapman wave inside track. Repellent zone, now it's become a pro-balance zone. So this whole area of 32,600 to, 30, uh, 32, to 32,000, um, about 300, should be very good support on any sudden turn down. And this is the first time that trend line in the monthly chart has broken to the upside. Now, they aren't all doing that. So this is a little unusual. So I, I like to use this bar symmetry. I like to use uh, different techniques. So one of the things that we did is I've been waiting and waiting and waiting for natural gas to come down. Now, natural gas, using the United States Natural Gas Fund, um, it's just, it's, it's an amazing thing how, uh, within the context of winter coming, that natural gas has a surplus at this particular point. But I was trying to use timing to get into the trade. We managed to get into the trade a few days ago at about 20.38. And I was said, it has to work right now. There's no messing around. This is the time that the... Uh, Natural gas itself has to scream to the upside, and you want to see the UNG close above this 200 period moving average, and today it's just gone above it at 22.90. That doesn't guarantee that it's going to keep soaring to the upside, but it does say that this is the kind of trigger I needed to get the action to the upside in natural gas. So this is a good sign so far. Yeah, it's, it's going to, the whole thing's going to be interesting. The, the natural gas is intriguing in general because the bottom line is, is that I, I get it. Um, you know, it's getting cold, but there's so much. It's, there just, is. It, there's a it, surplus. it's getting to the place that needs it. That's that's natural gas's problem. Absolutely. You know? And the other thing is, in just in terms of part, a chart patterns, this big arch formation could turn into a lovely cup formation if, if natural gas in the next week and a half can touch $24.50, $25. That'll be what I'm looking for. That'll say, good. Now we've got something that can hold up for, for at least a more intermediate term buy rather than just a short term trade. Folks, come over to our website at TFNN. Go to the newsletter, right on the left-hand side, the opening call, hit that, and you are off to the races. Baz, happy you have a Thanksgiving. Great... Yes, happy Thanksgiving, man. Gobble, gobble, you gobble. Family? <laughs> yeah, gobble, gobble. Yes, for sure. Thanks Rating. so much, man. Have a great one. <laughs> have a safe one.